بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear students at Ritan International Academy This is the second video regarding your uh, exam uh, I will solve questions with you I hope you will enjoy about this video Here we have a voltage I will talk about voltage We took it on the class State what do you mean by voltage If you have this question What do you mean by voltage you have to answer it this way, the amount of required energy to push of the charge outside of the cell. This is an energy, so if you have this question about what do you mean by voltage, you have to know that it is an energy required to push uh, to a charge. So since we have an energy, we mean that it is joule, charge, we know it's unit column. So I could say voltage equal joule per column. Joule per column. Uh, sorry. So this is what do we mean by a voltage? So always it is an energy required to push out the voltage outside of the cells. And it's always I have a battery. This is the long side wing positive terminal the short side is a negative terminal so if, if what do you mean by follow uh, by pushing the charge it is come from positive terminal going to the negative terminal throughout the circuit the direction always pushed from positive terminal to the negative terminal throughout the circuit okay if a charge is accelerated through a potential difference equal 20 volt, the kinetic energy increases from 3 e to the 5 to 1 e to the 5. Calculate the charge. Here, if you have it in the exam at first, e to the 5, that's mean 10 to the power five if you have it three times e to the two that's equal three times ten to the power of two remember this because you're gonna need it in the exam I have a question like this uh, like this you have to remember it how to deal with it and again we have this equation voltage equal joule per column I have an energy and I have voltage you could write it this way voltage is changing in energy changing in energy because as as a, a charge uh, uh, directed from positive terminal to the negative terminal throughout the circuit it's uh, its energy going to change so I have changing in energy over a charge uh, so V equal E2 minus E1 always changing the last subtract from the first over the charge 20 volt equal 5 times 10 to the 5 this is what we mean by e to the 5 minus uh, minus 3 here consider this a 3 sorry uh, okay here I corrected the mistakes 3 5 so 5 times 10 to the 5 minus 3 times 10 to the 5 of our charge and now 5 minus 3 equal 2 and keep the power since they are uh, they are equal and solve for cc come here volt come down here so now it's charge equal 2 times 10 to the 5 over 20 using your calculator or you could cancel 2 by 2 by 2 and 0 by 0 become 4 so charge equal 1 times 10 to the 4 column or 10 thousands column this is how we calculate 
the amount of charge at this circuit. Column now, here I have another thing, volt equal IR. V equal IR. We could see this famous equations, column R equal V over I. And we call this a column law. The relationship between R and I are inverse relationship. Since R at bottom, I at the, uh, since R at top and I at the bottom, so they are inversely proportional. If we increasing resistance, we decreasing carrying. If we decreasing resistance, we increasing carrying, and vice versa. Here I have I, I current charge over time. We have I as a charge over time. Charge is a column. Time is always at second. Be aware here for this. I found a lot of students who are mistaken at this point. Time, they, they always treat it uh, at uh, minutes, at hours. If you have it at minutes or uh, as hours, you have always to change it at seconds. And column over second, we call it amp or A. This is the unit of a current, amp or A. So suppose we have this, uh, this 100 column in 20 seconds, find the, uh, the current, we have 100 over 20. So we got 5 amp. So that's enough for this video. I will upload another uh, video regarding your exam. Good luck you all. Thank you.